Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut, and of course, please subscribe to this channel, and like this video, and let me know what you think about this video, so the, so the New York Mets and, and Major League Baseball are involved now with the trading deadline, this is, I'm recording this video on Sunday, but this is going to be uploaded in the morning on Monday, hopefully nothing has changed since this, but uh, we're talking about Wilson Contreras, and J.D. Martinez in particular. The Mets don't want to give up a prospect for a rental player, even or even Christian Vasquez. They don't want to give up a prospect for one of these rentals. What I mean by rental is that he's going to play uh, the rest of the season with the Mets and postseason. The Mets have a long postseason, and then he leaves, and then the Mets are, are left with nothing, and they lose a prospect. Now, a prospect that they don't seem to be wanting to part with is their number two draft pick. In the 2017 draft, Mark Vientos. Now, Vientos right now, I think he's 22 years old. He's playing in Syracuse. He's been hitting like crazy. He's hitting a lot of homers. He's a big home run hitter. Uh, the Mets look at him, if he stays with the Mets, as a future DH slash left fielder. He's been, you know, he's been, he was always ahead of the curve in terms of the draft. He was the youngest player in the, in the 2017 draft. Uh, and the Mets are not too keen on moving him because of what happened with Pico Armstrong last year. Uh, last year's a different story. They they didn't have a shortstop. They brought in Javi Baez to play shortstop until Lindor got, came back from his injury. But the Mets don't seem to want to move Vientos. Now, Vientos is the Mets' uh, fifth best prospect according to MLB.com. And he was in the Futures game. He's not on the level of Brett Beatty, nor is he on the level of Francisco Alvarez. But the Mets don't want to move him. He's he's close to being major ready. If the Mets were a bad team, he would be here. Uh, if he was on any bad team, he'd be playing every day. But because the Mets have been playing so well, they don't want to call him up. Now, the rumor is they don't want to give him up for any rental. They don't want to give him up for Martinez. They don't want to for Vasquez. They, maybe some second run... Uh, some middle uh, mid-range prospect, like 10 to 15, they might give up for these rentals. But with, but with Vientos, they don't want to do it. There's a lot of power there that they want to be able to tap into, I would assume. That's been the rumor all these years. So the Mets are very, uh, they don't seem to want to do that. Now the rumor is, and it's been sort of haggling around here over the last uh, few hours, that the Mets don't want to make, they may not be able to get it back. Now, they have brought in a couple of ancillary uh, guys, uh, Vogelback, Naquan, Naquin, and, um, but they need a little pop on the right side. So, they, it seems like if they make another move for a bat, it might not be on the level of Martinez or Vasquez or Contreras, but all because of Vientos. They feel very confident in his ability to, to hit major league pitching right now. And he may need a little more development, but not much more. So I just want to let people know this as we get close to the deadline. The deadline is now Tuesday. This is Monday as this video is going to go up. So we're getting awfully close to the end here. So we will find out if the Mets blink or they don't blink. Or the, or the Cubs blink or the Red Sox blink. I do know one thing, a couple things. Don Smith's going to get moved. With all these new lefties and, and you know lefty bats... Dom's going to get moved. And don't be surprised if J.D. Davis gets moved if they decide to call Vientos. Or if they bring in a right-handed bat. So, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.